Since the introduction of the UK CA mark, there have been numerous interventions from UK Gov to support manufacturers. An example of this was on June 20th, 2022. The UK government published a set of easements that meant completed conformity assessment activities performed under EU regulations, such as the CE mark, continue, can continue to be accepted to support the UK CA marking of an item until the certificate underpinning the EU regulation either expires or surpasses the 31st of December 2025, whichever comes sooner. However, since this announcement, there's been another significant legislative change, the latest of which announced on the 15th of November 2022 stated the UK government will continue to recognise the CE product marking in Great Britain for a further two years. This allows business to use either the UK CE mark or the CE mark until, until 11 p.m. on the 31st of December 2024. The easements announced on the 20th of June 2022 now mean that the certificate underpinning the EU regulation can be used up until it expires or the 31st of December 2027, whichever comes sooner. The requirement that as of the 1st of January 2023, products placed on the GB market must be UKCA marked has also been extended up until 11 p.m. on the 31st of December 2024. The easements, which are in place to support the UKCA mark, have also, as explained, been extended for a further two years. To support this effort, the Pressure Equipment Safety Regulations 2016 has implemented the Pressure Equipment Directive on pressure equipment and assemblies. Like the PED, the PESR applies to pressure equipment and assemblies with a maximum allowable pressure greater than 0.5 bar. There are several exclusions which are defined in Regulation 4, Section 1 of the PESR. The additional two-year transition period applied will allow the CE mark to be accepted within the GB market. It must be noted that this was not mutually recognised by the European market. UK CE marked equipment is not recognised for import into the European Union. Pressure equipment that is lawfully CE marked will be accepted in the Great British market until the 11pm on the 31st of December 2024. You must be ready to use the UKCA mark from 11 p.m. on the 31st of December 2024 at the latest, although you should look to use the UKCA mark as soon as reasonably possible. When applying the UKCA mark, there are some specific requirements to be aware of. Firstly, you must follow the format and appearance as shown in the slide. Minimum height of the UKCA mark shall be 5 millimetres. Generally, all the other PD marking requirements do remain the same as applicable to the PESR. What you will notice is that the UK approved body now is replaced from the EU notified body, and UCAS are the only accreditation authority that may be used for appointment of UK approved bodies and UK RTPOs. The UK Secretary of State replaces EU member states and is responsible for the appointment of UK approved bodies and UK RTPOs. The UK will mirror the current harmonised standards list initially, however, it will be then updated separately to the EU official journal. The UK will issue the designated standard list in a manner the Secretary of State considers appropriate. The UK's designated standard list is almost identical to the EU version, as shown in the amendment to Schedule 11 of the PESR. EU, as you can see, is omitted from the title and references should be made to the UK's Pressure Equipment Safety Regulation, SI 2016 number 1105. From a practical stance, a question you may ask is, do my welders? or my welding procedures need to be requalified or recertified? Yes, however, only for new certificates issued after the 31st of December 2024. In this case, a UK 
approved body or a UK approved recognised third party organisation, an RTPO, must approve welders and welding procedures under the UK CA mark. For currently issued certificates, which are being used currently for CE certification to meet compliance for the UK CA mark, those certificates will be valid for the UK CA until the certificate expires or until the 31st December 2027, whichever is sooner. Now looking at NDE personnel, a question you may again ask is do my NDE personnel need to be requalified or certified? And again, the answer is yes. However, only for new certificates issued after the 31st of December 2024. And again, in this scenario, a UK approved body or a UK approved recognised third party organisation, an RTPO, must approve NDE personnel conducting examination of permanent joints in fabrication of categories three or four for pressure equipment. HSB will accept non-destructive testing personnel approvals by an EU notified body or RTPO qualified prior to the 1st of January 2025 or until the certificate expires or until the end of 2027, whichever comes sooner. Upon expiry, the non-destructive examination testing personnel shall then be require approval from a UK approved body RTPO. NDE testing personnel approvals issued after the 31st of December 2024 shall be accepted only if they are approved by a UK approved body or RTPO. Focusing now on main pressure bearing material. The UK CA mark will accept material manufacture quality system approvals by a competent EU body issued prior to the 31st of December 2024 until that certificate expires or until the end of 2027 again whichever comes sooner. Upon certificate expiry the material manufacturer's quality system shall then require approval from a UK competent body once beyond the 31st of December 2024. Material manufacturers quality system approvals issued after the 31st of December 2024 shall be acceptable only if they are approved by a UK competent body. Where the quality system is not certified by UK or EU competent body, then the option of retesting and a 3.2 intent or 3.2 certificate issued by HSB UK is still available. 3.2 certificates issued by either a UK approved body or an EU notified body are accepted until the 31st of December 2024. Then, therefore, this must then be certified by a competent body established within the UK. The Pressure Equipment Safety Regulations Declaration of Conformity is a document which must be drawn up for most products lawfully bearing the UK CA mark. Manufacturers must have a specific separate PESR Declaration of Conformity to their PED Declaration of Conformity. The information required on the PESR Declaration of Conformity is largely the same as what is required on the PED Declaration of Conformity. The DOC must be kept by the manufacturer or the AR for a period of 10 years from the date of which the equipment was placed on the GB market and the declaration must be made available to any enforcement or surveillance authorities upon request. What we'll do now is look at what is currently technically aligned with the PED and the PSR. Firstly, the responsibilities of UK approved bodies. Despite a name change from notify bodies, the responsibilities and the authorities still remain the same. 
Furthermore, pressure equipment categorization and classification has not changed. And you still have three choice of modules and construction codes, such as B production type, module G, and ACME and EN standards. Essential safety requirements around design remain the same, and other essential safety requirements are essentially the same, with the expected sorry, with the exceptions of paragraphs 3.12, 3.13 and for, as we ex have explained in the previous slides, based on the UK Gov easements. The ability to use PMAs remains the same. However, PMAs for category three and four equipment now need to be approved by a UK approved body. Here, in this timeline, we present a visual representation of the changes. Under the easement, EU Module B certificates certified prior to the 31st of December 2024 can be used to support the Module B aspect of a UKCA marked item for that conformity assessment until their certificate expires or the 31st of December 2027, again, whichever comes sooner. And this is also true for UKCA um, modules such as D, D1, E, E1, H and H1 and their relevant certificates. The key point to make is that new certificates for joining NDE personnel, Module B type examination, Module D, D1, E, H, H1, or Material Manufacturers Quality Systems issued on or after the 1st of January 2025 are no longer subject to the easement. They must be certified by an appointed UK body in order to be used for UKCA marked equipment and conformity assessment. I trust that this presentation was beneficial in helping you understand the UK government's easements and their two-year extension for the acceptance of the CE mark, as this relates to pressure equipment being supplied into the Great British market. Thank you for your time. Should you have any questions, please use the contact information on the following slide, and please also review the wide range of inspection services for owners of fabricators of boilers pressure vessels, nuclear components, processes and power plants offered by HSB. Here are several useful websites. The websites are maintained and updated by UKGov and always provide the most up-to-date information as it comes live. If you need support understanding the application, please do not hesitate to get in touch. PESR Conformity Assessment is one of HSB's many wide-ranging services. We provide virtually every aspect of inspection and certification mandated by ASME code and local regulators. Please visit us online for more information. If you want to learn more and you've enjoyed working from home with virtually no contact, our virtual webinars are a great place to start for a brief introduction and overview to the services that we provide.